Hi guys, I'm Mohit here. Uh, wish you all a very happy new year. So today I'll be showing you uh, what the new Nougat update brings to my new OnePlus 3T which was released back in December this year. So I have my device and this is the latest build I'm running which is Nougat. So here you can see an about phone at 7.0. Uh, the Oxygen OS version is 4.0. The build number is OnePlus A3003 which is uh, uh, OnePlus 3T. Uh, this version has been released officially in Germany, Canada, Switzerland but not in India. But I was able to flash the file manually looking up to the oneplus forum where people have uploaded the zip file which is 919 mb i'll just post a link which is attached in the video so in this video i'll be showing you the changes which nogat has brought uh, these are the following few changes new no new notification design uh, so the notification panel um, this is the notification panel. Uh, the new design in this notification panel is okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, they have added um, a data saver, and you can swipe through screens. Like you, now, you can add as many as shortcuts you want, not like the previous version. So these are the files I want to drag. I'll just drag and post it here. Uh, yeah, no need to save, just a back button, and yes, you can get as many files you want. Uh, uh, this is the new notification. Like now, it covers this edge-to-edge -edge display. Uh, there is no gap between the display and the notification. Like even on the lock screen. You can see like uh, the notifications cover edge to edge. Uh, and now the new feature of replying just from the notification is like you can, this is my WhatsApp. You can expand the WhatsApp messages. You can expand each message from every group. And now you can reply it here and send directly from here. Like you don't need to open the app. Not just WhatsApp. You can do it in any other app. So... The new thing is uh, new settings menu design. Like uh, this is the settings menu. Uh, this is a new design wherein you get details about every single thing. Like uh, if the Wi-Fi is connected, which Wi-Fi is connected, Bluetooth is it enabled or disabled. Like you can get information right below the heading, a battery and everything. Uh, like if I just turn off the data it might also give a suggestion to us uh, like right mobile data is off if you want you can turn it on like it just keeps on giving us few suggestions which will be good for use uh, the multi window view uh, just need to click the recent button click and hold the screen okay this app doesn't support split screen yeah there are only certain apps which support like you uh, drag the YouTube above and okay and any other app you want to open like this is the Amazon app you can play the video right there so no problems with that. Uh, and this is the Amazon like you can just expand one of the screen just for your convenience or bring them both to an equal space yeah it also works in the horizontal mode this is the way it works it's quite nice this was the feature I was waiting for because this bi big screen can be utilized for many things at once so the other thing is notification direct reply which I have shown to you custom D DPI support right uh, so you can just uh, change the size of the screen uh, to whatever size you want uh, just by going into display uh, you can change the font size as well, display size, you can make it uh, large or a bit smaller display. 
I just prefer a bit smaller one this is a small display right now you can now keep five icons in the home page uh, they um, in default view only uh, you can you can keep only four icons but now you can keep five icons these this DPI settings makes everything on the screen screen smaller which looks beautiful uh, but I prefer the original settings which is quite beautiful as well the other thing is added status bar icon option yeah this was the feature which I missed a lot during the last build so they have added it here in just custom uh, you can find a status bar option wherein you can change the battery bar uh, battery icon like it's a bar icon right now you can change it to battery circle look and you can even hide the thing battery it's a good thing uh, and you can hide man as many things as you want from the notification panel like uh, I have hidden uh, alarm and things volt uh, so I'll just show you like uh, mobile data so you can hide your m network set network from here just by clicking mobile data this is a useful feature and I'm good I'm glad it came back in the no good build uh, yeah and the last thing is they improved the shelf customization so let's see what they improved uh, nothing much uh, it looks the same but yes they have added a close button here um, you can expand the shelf easily like uh, in previous build it was not so easy to expand the shelf items so yes I find this quite useful as well these are the only things which are being added yes it improved the benchmark score a bit it did but uh, not quite as useful as this phone was as fast as possible yeah uh, and new uh, recent screen like you can see a big screen here so in short you can view the contents what in the app you had opened la last so I can see what on, on the page what I can see is a good thing uh, yeah these are the few quite new features and nothing else I don't believe uh, and they have removed one customization option from here there are only two available uh, quite good yeah, thank you guys for watching this video if you like hit the like button Thank you, enjoy the new year.